Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to open your own cryptocurrency portfolio for under $100 in 2018. I just make sure you know, um, this is just information for you to kind of decide on your own which way is best for you. I can't really recommend uh, specifically what you should do. So uh, make sure you know that there is a risk in investing cryptocurrencies. Now before we start, I want to thank bank for You for sponsoring this video. So you can check them out at bank for youio They're talking called BFY. They have a service and an app to help you move money around the world. Especially this is good for people who live in areas where they don't have access to banks, but they do have phones. They help millions to be able to have their own freedom with cryptocurrency and financial needs when it comes to moving money from one place to the other so thank you so much guys for sponsoring this video and yeah, you guys have a really awesome app now the first step you have to do is if you don't have coinbase account yet you can register and it's absolutely free i left the link below how to register to coinbase.com all you have to do is follow those instructions and put your first name last name email and password and if you buy a hundred dollars worth of bitcoins you get free ten dollars and i also get ten dollars so we both get ten dollars free if you register to coinbase using this link we both get $10 extra. So if you put $100, you get $110 back for buying Bitcoin. So let me show you after you register how to do that. So after you register, you can go to buy and sell. Choose Bitcoin to pay and then don't forget to add your pay payment method. You can use bank or credit card. And then add $100 to buy and it will show you a fee here. So Coinbase charge a fee if you buy from Coinbase directly. And it's worth it right now because you get $10 anyway. So $3, it's not bad, you get $10 free. And then once you buy the $100 worth of Bitcoin, I will show you what to do next. So once you buy it and then you have it in your account, it might take a few days. I transfer it over to uh, GDAX. GDAX is the same as Coinbase. You can register, it's also free. And when you register to Coinbase, you, you basically have automatically a GDAX account. So I already deposited the Bitcoin to the GDAX account and then transferred it to cash. So I got about $118 to play around on GDAX. The benefits of using GDAX is there is a very small fee or no fee at all. And it's also very easy to buy different currencies. The problem with Bitcoin is if you really want to transfer a Bitcoin, you know, we're using a private key and a public key to someone else, it actually costs a lot of money, 20, 30, 40 dollars, and it might take days to clear. To avoid all that, what I do is I use those services like GDAX because there I can move money around very easy and I don't have to wait all this time. So now that we have $118, we can buy multiple type of coins and we can buy any amount of the coin of each one. And so we have available Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ether, which is Ethereum and Litecoin. Now I'm going to try to avoid buying Bitcoin because when I'm moving around, uh, it's very expensive. If I want to pay my friend, it's cost me $30. Um, that's too much. But Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin and Ethereum are actually very, very cheap to use. So I'm going to go ahead and buy some uh, Bitcoin Cash. I think what I will do is uh, I'll do 50% Bitcoin Cash, I will do 30% Ethereum, and then 20% Litecoin. Because Bitcoin Cash has a little more use in the real world because the fees are very low and it's fast transaction times. So that's why I like Bitcoin Cash. Ethereum has a whole platform with token. You can buy and sell tokens and create your own tokens. And it's a whole platform and exchange. The smart thing about Ethereum is that it has smart contracts where you can have a payment sent uh, with some rules and stuff. So Ethereum is a really useful tool for programming and uh, hopefully we'll see it in our everyday shopping and whatever we do online. Litecoin is just a, a lighter version of Bitcoin. It's uh, worked on a script. It's, it's a little different, but it's something to have because uh, it's one of the first one that was created after Bitcoin. So it's also has some years to it, just like Bitcoin has. So that's why I'm going to choose Litecoin as well. So go, let's go ahead and start by buying uh, Bitcoin Cash. So I have $118 in my balance here and I decide to buy, uh, let's say I want to buy uh, 68.32 just to make things easy. And I'm going to do it with a limit. So the way limit works is that you set your own price. And if someone accepts a price, it's basically transaction happens and there is no fee on your side because you're calling it. But if you want, you can also do market price, which means it's whatever the price is right now, whatever people offer, you know, you can buy and sell. And then there is a 0.4 or 0.3% fee for it. And that's not too bad if you are in a hurry and you just want to get it done and you don't want to figure out what numbers to put. 
So um, I will show you a market and, uh, and a limit. So, but let's do a limit first because it is it doesn't have any fee. So a winning dick price is uh, of one Bitcoin Cash is 1925 It's actually went down a lot. It's actually a good time to get into it because it's cheaper. So let's go ahead and buy some um, uh, Bitcoin Cash. So I'm going to set up the price um, $1,920 and twenty dollars let's say and I want to buy uh, point zero five or maybe a little more point uh, zero six uh, Bitcoin cash so I'm gonna go ahead and place my order and now I'm just gonna have to wait if someone will accept this offer I will have no fees at all and I will automatically have um, a Bitcoin cash in my wallet Okay, so now I change it to uh, 0.03 Bitcoin Cash, and now I have $60.78 to play around with. I'm going to go ahead and go to Ether. So let's go and buy some Ethereum. This time I'll show you how I buy on a market price and show you that it actually has a fee to it. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order on a, a buy on a market price and for $30. Uh, let's do a 40 because the rest will be Litecoin. And I'm going to go ahead and place my order. And then right away the order would be fulfilled, but I got charged 11 cents fee. It's not a lot, but um, you know if you can avoid that fee, why not? You know, so um, I did buy a 0.03 Ethereum, and I have 20 dollars left. I'm gonna go ahead and Litecoin and buy some Litecoin, but that time I will do a limit price because I want to try to avoid those fees. So uh, I'm gonna set up a price of uh, 198 and then I'm gonna buy 0.1 so I'm gonna go ahead and try to buy some uh, Litecoin now and uh, the lower the price you put here uh, the more Bitcoins you're gonna get but less likely um, your order is gonna go because the price have to match what you're putting there so let's say um, I'll put the price for 196 so now I have 0.1 Litecoin and I have if I look at Ether I have 0.03 um, Ethereum and I have 0.03 Bitcoin Cash and this is my portfolio now and if I want to I can move those coins to Coinbase if you want to like send them to a friend or something if you want you can keep them there it's up to you and it's basically so simple you know and uh, from there you can if you want you can every day you can go in and trade and sell your Litecoin or Bitcoin and then buy other coins and trade it every day now don't forget to subscribe and like this video and let me know if you like videos like this on on trading and I will do maybe a video about tokens just let me know what you think on the comments and I'll see you guys on the next video bye bye